So yeah, that is going to be a PNG file instead of a JPEG file. But I'm gonna delete the JPEG and I'm gonna keep this one because it's 68 pixels by 68 pixels. All right, then um, I'm gonna test a few things out. So yeah, here we go. Uh, we can also delete uh, these files. So yeah, there we go. Now all the files except for the youtube.html have been deleted. And then we have the styles, or first we have the thumbnails, then we have the styles, general, header, sidebar and video. And then we have the icons that are, they are all SVG icons. And then we have the channel pictures. So yeah. I'm going to get started on this and in this episode I'm going to create the header. So yeah, right now we have all the files that we are going to need. Alright, so first of all I am going to start by creating the header, also known as the top of the page. So I'm going to first declare the doc type. This is going to be an HTML5 document. The then we need an HTML tag, a head tag, and the title will be YouTube clone. Okay. After that, I'm going to link to some uh, Google fonts. So relationship is going to be pre-connect. The href is gonna be the first link. There we go. Then a uh, link relationship pre connect href. There we go. We gotta get the next one and cross origin on this one. And then link href is gonna be https colon slash slash fonts.googleapis.com And then the relationship is going to be a style sheet. So yeah. Basically with this we are right now connecting to the Google fonts and most importantly I want the Roboto uh, font. Roboto is the font that's used on YouTube and on many different Google websites so this is the font that I want. Alright, so there we go. After this I'm going to be creating some link elements. So I'm going to be linking all the style sheets onto this page. The first href is going to be styles and then general.css. Next one is going to be inside of the styles and we're going to take the header.css link relationship style sheet the href is gonna be inside of the styles folder and this time it's gonna be the video.css and the link relationship style sheet and the href styles and sidebar.css okay so now we got all the CSS uh, styles linked onto the main HTML page. So yeah, right now we are pretty much ready to go ahead and create a pair of body tags. There we go. Alright, and now I'm gonna open this site 
with live server and there we go I'm gonna go ahead and put this or these next to each other so there we go okay so in this episode I'm gonna be creating the header also known as the top of the page so in order to get started I'm gonna be creating a header element and this is gonna keep be getting a class of header there we go inside of this I'm gonna create a div section with the class of left dash section so this is gonna be the left section of the header alright then I'm gonna need a couple of images the class is gonna be first we need the hamburger menu and the source for that is gonna be inside of the icons folder and then we gotta find the hamburger menu dot svg then img class equals youtube logo the source will be icons slash youtube logo dot svg there we go so right now we got those two images inside of the page then I'm gonna create a second div element this is gonna be the middle section and inside of the middle section we are going to be needing a search bar and a button with a uh, you know search icon so I'm gonna create an input element with the class of search bar the type will be text and placeholder is gonna be search all right so there we go there we got our tiny little search bar right now after that I'm gonna create a button the class is gonna be search dash button and then inside of the button I'm gonna insert an image the class is gonna be search icon and the source is gonna be icons and search.svg so there we go then I'm gonna need another dev element dev class this is gonna be the tooltip so when we hover over this element we are going to get a tooltip so tooltip and search there we go so now we have that button over there it's already looking like something okay after this uh, I'm gonna go and exit the button and after that I'm gonna create another button so button class and this is gonna be the voice search button it's gonna have an image with the class of voice search icon the source for that is going to be inside of the icons folder it's going to be the voice search icon dot svg okay then I'm going to create a development with the class of tooltip once again search with your voice alright then I'm going to exit the button the div element and then I'm gonna create one more div 
and this is gonna have the class of right section inside I'm gonna create another div with the class of upload icon container and an image with the class of upload icon and the source is gonna be icons slash upload dot svg okay then I'm gonna create a div element with the class of tooltip and the, that this one is gonna say create okay so now we got these elements on the page they are really all here and there at the moment but we are gonna fix that with some CSS styling anyways uh, right now we have the left middle and the right sections of the header so I am going to exit this div element then I'm gonna insert an image with the class of uh, YouTube apps icon. The source will be icons and YouTube apps.svg. Then I'm going to need a div element with the class of notification icon container inside I'm gonna add an image with the class of notifications icon and the source is going to be icons and notifications dot SVG then we need a div element with the class of notifications count. Let's set this one to be like uh, six. Okay. So yeah, we got all these elements right now. They are absolutely huge, but we're gonna fix that real soon. After this div element, I got one more image that I gotta add. That's gonna be using a class of current user picture, and the source is going to be channel pictures, and this is gonna be my channel.png. Okay, now we got that one in there as well. After that, we can exit the div and the header elements. All right. In the next episode, we are going to be creating the navigation bar, also known as the sidebar. And then we are also going to need a main section over here. And then we... Well, we are gonna work our way up from there. Okay, so right now we got the header over here. And that is completed. So right now I gotta go ahead and I'm gonna open the styles and the header.css file. And right now I gotta start styling this. So first I'm gonna take the class header I'm gonna make the height 55 pixels. The display is gonna be a flex box. Flex direction will be a row. 
and justify content will be space between. Okay, it's already looking a lot better. All right, then I'm going to be, uh, I'm gonna set the position to be fixed. So the header will stay with us even when we scroll down on the page. And then the top will be zero and the left will be zero. Right will be zero and the Z index. Let's set it to something crazy like 100. There we go. Then I'm going to create, I mean, create a background color of white for this. Then border dash bottom width will be one pixel. Border bottom style will be solid and border bottom color will be RGB 228, 228, 228. There we go. So now we got a little line over there. I don't know if you can see that, but we do have that. All right, so after this, I'm gonna take the left section of our page and that's gonna be using a flex box, display flex. There we go. And then align items center. All right. After that, I'm gonna take the hamburger menu the height of that is going to be 24 pixels. There we go. And the margin left is going to be 24 pixels. And the right margin is going to be the same as well. So there we go. We already got the YouTube logo and the hamburger menus. Or the menu. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and create get the YouTube logo. I'm going to set the height to be 20 pixels. Maybe 21. Okay, I guess I guess that's pretty accurate. Then I'm going to take the middle section of the web page. Uh, we don't have anything else on the left side of the header. So we can move on to the middle. So flex is going to be one margin left. Let's set it to be 70 pixels and the margin right will be the same. Actually, let's go with 35. The max width of this middle section will be 500 pixels. Uh, display flex. All right, and align items will be center. Okay, now you can see that this is actually starting to look like something. Okay, then we gotta take the search bar and flex will be one, height 36 pixels, padding left 10 pixels, uh, font size 16 pixels the border will be 1 pixel solid RGB 192 192 192 All right, the border radius will be 2 pixels Just to smooth the corners Actually, I'm gonna go with 4 pixels There we go then box shadow is going to be inset, 1 pixel, 2 pixel, 3 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.05. So that's going to be creating a very, very, very 
hardly noticeable box shadow. And the width will be zero. Alright, then we're gonna take the search bar, access the placeholder, and the font size will be 16 pixels. And I think I gotta make this full screen. Yep. Okay. And this one as well. Alright. So right now, um, next up, I'm gonna style the search button. So the height will be 40 pixels. Okay, that's looking good. The width will be 66 pixels. Alright. I'm gonna set the background color to be an RGB value, 240, 240, 240. The border uh, is gonna be one pixel solid, and it's gonna have the RGB color of 192, 192, and 192. Then the margin that's left is gonna be, let's see actually, okay, maybe minus one pixel, just to align that a little bit. Then margin that's right will be 10 pixels, okay. Then we gotta take the search button. I'm also gonna select the voice search button and upload icon container. And I'm gonna say the display flex justify content will be center. Align items will be center and the position will be relative. Alright, this is what we have right now. Then I'm gonna create the tooltips. So I'm gonna take the search button and the tooltip. Then I'm gonna take the voice search button and the tooltip and upload icon container and the tooltip. Okay, the position is gonna be absolute. Background color will be gray. Color will be white. Padding is gonna be four pixels on the top and bottom and eight pixels on the left and right then the border radius is gonna be something like two pixels the font size let's try 12 pixels and then we have the absolute positioning so we can say bottom minus 30 pixels all right, let's have a look. Okay, there's our tool tips right now. Looking kind of weird. Anyways, let's continue. So the opacity will be zero to begin with. I only want to show the tool tips when I hover. And then the transition will be opacity zero point two seconds pointer events will be none and the white space will be no wrap so this is what we have right now all right i should probably also go to the hamburger menu and the youtube logo and 
turn the cursor into a pointer. Alright, now that looks a lot better. Okay, after that I'm gonna continue by selecting the search button and take the hover pseudo class and select the tooltip then voice search button and the hover pseudo class and the tooltip and the upload icon container the hover pseudo class and the tooltip I'm gonna set the opacity to be 1 so when we hover over these we are going to get the tooltip as you can see like here it says search search with your voice etc by the way the voice search icon dot svg was not working right now Yeah, we don't have the microphone, so let's see, I'm gonna try again, so voice search icon dot svg. Okay, that's not appearing on the page. Well, I guess I'm not gonna be letting that destroy this. Anyways. This is gonna be a pretty long project and uh, yeah I think that this is gonna be the first episode of this one because I don't wanna create too long episodes and you don't want to watch too long episodes. So yeah, I hope you were able to learn something new from this one and realize the fact that Creating websites is just styling one by one these elements. So yeah, anyways, I hope that I'm gonna see you in the next one. Ha I wish happy learning to everyone and yeah, bye bye and have a wonderful day. And see you later.